Robbie Adams here breaking off to the back stick. Well, it's Rob Lee who takes it. So just over Michael Owen, who is trying to backhead it. Put out by Cunha. Sierra, who's been conspicuous with that left foot of his. And look at this for a pass. And that is a magnificent goal for Chilean Salas. A truly World Cup class goal here as the warm ups begin. And England were cut apart by the pass and the way the 12 million pound man took the goal, Marcelo Salas. Well, what can you say about that? That is absolute brilliance. A magnificent ball from Sierra, wonderful control from Salas. And a fantastic left foot volley to finish it off. You won't see many better goals than that at Wembley. Absolutely unstoppable. Let's have another look at left foot control on the knee. One movement, left foot volley. Sheer brilliance. Well, Salas who uh, heads off to Italy to... Salas. Well, you talk about quick feet, Martin. Have you ever seen anything like this? He absolutely teases So Campbell. Invites the tackle. That's a penalty. That Absolutely, is a penalty. No he wins it himself. He just sucks so Campbell in, waits for the tackle to come, and over he goes. It wouldn't surprise me if he takes it himself either. While well, the crowd trying to help England here, they call Salas the Matador, and England have been his victims it's his penalty now and it's 2-0 both scored by Salas and Chile are moving towards a really famous Wembley victory well I have to say Martin that he's Serie A's gain if he goes to Italy in our loss because he would have been absolutely fantastic for our premiership well, it's not just Manchester United who have been tracking him. I know Tottenham went to watch him play in Chile as well. Maybe the English clubs put off by the price, put off by the sort of football that he's been playing in, first of all in Chile and then in Argentina. Scottish Cup. Right, well, 9-1 to one to win it. A goal 93 seconds before half-time. And Chile are in front. Marcelo Salas, the goal scorer. What a goal as well. And you, well, looking at that, perhaps when you suggest that Chile deserve to be in front as well. <clears throat> One or two challenges that on another day in England might have produced a red card, but on the basis of what we've seen, justifiable lead and uh, some terrific football that they've played with, I think you've thoroughly enjoyed that, haven't you? Really, yeah, that was a marvellous first half. Very impressed with Chile. I uh, didn't expect to see them work so hard. I didn't expect to see their pressure rising so good as it's been, and uh, they're making life extremely difficult for them at the moment. And the goal, Brian, right from Andy Gray's top draw. Yeah, it's, it's a cracking game, and it's a fantastic goal. You know, it's a great run from Salas. Um, you know, we, this is where he started. Well, this is where David Batty uh, was at the back, and when the lads broke out here, he's, he's not quite sure, and he turns back inside. Now, just as he turns back inside, Dave Batty, uh, there, he, he just stops there and Salas is running onto him. And that, that moment when Dave Batty had stopped, that's when Salas has got the split. But what a fantastic ball, and you know you can't get any better two touches than that. Great ball, as that's dropping, there's still a lot of work to do, isn't there? Oh, there is that. I mean, that's a perfect 40-yard ball, isn't it? Cool. And then tremendous control and great finish. But there you see Dave Batty just gets square on and he's t turning round rather than just sprinting and getting goal, goal side of Salas. You know, it was too late once. When you're playing against top class players like these, you make that one little bit of mistake and the punisher for it, which he's, which he's done there. You were saying beforehand, well, you weren't sure about the 12 million. Are you more so now? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. He's a fantastic player. I mean, what's really impressed me is the fact that he's pressurised so well and works so hard. And also, he's taken an almighty kick from Tony Adams, I think, which must have been a very painful kick, and he showed the character, one, to get back on the field, and secondly, he scored that great goal. I was just disappointed there that, you know, really, two players had such a lot of time on the ball to deliver that ball, that to some extent, you know, when you're caught out from a corner kick, your centre-backs are upfield, and you've got David Batty defending in a centre-back position, you really need your midfield players to close down 
and not allow the number 10, who's got a wonderful left foot, to select those for the passes. It's half time, we're talking about Chile, we certainly didn't expect to be, did we? What are the plus points from England's point of view? No, I think Michael Owen has got to be a plus, he's been running down the sides of Chile and he's caused them problems, been very direct in his game and that, and the kid's done nothing wrong. I mean, with a bit of fortune, you know, England could have scored. Um, Dion Dublin, you know, for his first game, his build-up play has been fairly good. Um, the movement's been quite good. I just feel like England at the moment are getting outnumbered in midfield. You know, you've got the seven and the eight in there who are working really hard against Batty and um, Butty. But then you've got the uh, ten who's floating in there as well, and the, the ten's linking things up all the time with his forward passing because he's a good passer of the ball. Uh, and I just feel we need to tie that down uh, a little bit better. England trail at Wembley by a goal to nil. We saw Glenn Hoddle talking to Graham Lasso at length in that first half there. Well, we hear that Graham Lasso will be coming on second half. It's a tactical switch. More on that when we come back. We're at Wembley tonight, England trail by a goal to nil to Chile.